The small hatchback segment was the biggest and most popular choice for the Indian consumer not too long ago. And it made sense because India have four cities in the top 10 most trafficked cities in the world. So the small little rabbits reigned over India with no threat until the gopping trend of SUVs plagued the car scene. However, the segment is not dead. Today we have our very own Indian made BS6 Tata Tiago. This was supposed to be the next big thing for Tata. Since its inception back in 2015, it had undergone three different name changes. According to some inside sources at Tata, it was supposed to be named the Kite, but they named it the Zika and since Zika was such a bad name, they eventually made it into the Tiago. And it was named the Tiago because it was named after Messi's son called Tiago and Messi actually endorsed the product. That's how big Tata went with this car. This being Tata's most affordable car in the segment, it was meant to sell like hotcakes, and well, it actually did. And the reason why it sold like hotcake is not because of actually it being cheap or reasonably priced. It was because actually it was a really good car. The new impact design philosophy that Tata have inherited have absolutely done wonders for them. Along with the Horizon Next products that they've introduced, I mean, Tata has seen an exponential growth in sales. Once you step on the inside, this new dual tone dash, the seat covers make the interior feel very pleasing to look at. And just for a little bit of fun, the AC vent covers have been painted body colored, so it has a nice pop in the interior. You get a flat bottom steering wheel, which makes the steering feel really sporty. And overall, the design is very minimalistic. And all great designers will say, the more amount of space you have, the more luxurious you'll feel. so they have actually incorporated that into the interior and it actually feels really airy and spacious inside the infotainment system in the tata tiago is nothing but average you get apple carplay and android auto connectivity and the touch is a little bit laggy and the screen is a little bit too small for my liking but overall as an infotainment system it gets the job done when you look at the tiago from the front it has been given a slight facelift over the past year and it looks like the altros now and it has a chrome strip which runs the length of the car and a blacked out grill which makes it look really nice and imposing whereas the older tiago used to look like a cute little labrador this one still looks like a labrador but it has its teeth out and it's all pointy and bitey and everything when it comes to the back end nothing really has changed that much at all i mean you get this little spoiler over here which is not even a whole spoiler it's just two little bits on each side I mean it looks okay the tail lights look good and overall it's a really handsome looking back and nothing to complain about and let's just crack on with driving shall we When you start driving this car it's a epic little car and The interior is also really really nice in this thing. I have this digital dash in front of me and it has the tachometer like the new Verna whereas in the Verna it felt a little bit tacky and corny to look at because come on I mean that is like a compact sedan it's supposed to look a little bit more premium in this it looks really nice and cute. Driving the Tiago you really start finding out how epic this little car is and I can't imagine how nice the JTP version was to drive. It corners really well but the only thing the only thing that's bad about this car is that this is a automatic version I mean first of all it's an AMT which is not a good start at all because AMTs are kind of dim-witted and this one is no different I mean and well you have to request the gearbox to change gears rather than telling it to change gears if you know what I mean this can easily be solved by going out and buying the Tiago with a manual gearbox The AMT is seriously very irritating to drive around in. It is super slow to change gears and makes so much noise while doing it. But overall, the Tiago has a very enjoyable driving experience. But there are a few things that Tata could have added to make it even better. This XZA Plus variant is more or less the top model in the lineup, and it being the top model, it only has two airbags. And this particular feature doesn't bother me too much, but adding a start stop button instead of a key would have added even more pizzazz to this interior. 
Tata has really been upping their game since the past few years and you can see that in their sales numbers. The Altros is now giving competition to top sellers like the Baleno and the i20 and the Tiago is one of the best selling cars in its segment. And don't get me wrong, 5 years ago Tata was making good cars but now they are making desirable cars and you can see that with the new Tiago as well. It's something that I would give to my mother or be as my first car if I'm 18 years old. It's that good of a car. And well, something that I really do not like about the Tiago is probably the gearbox. I mean, the AMD transmission is kind of dim-witted. Uh, but if you go for the manual, I think this is a one heck of a car to hoon around in. But of course, we really want Tata to get back the JTP. So Tata, if you're listening, get the JTP back. And yeah, that's it. This is a great little car. I really like it. It's much more quirkier and fun to look at than something like the Swift. So if you're looking to buy something like a Swift or anything in that range, check out the Tiago. It's a really good car. Thank you so much for watching this video. Share, like, subscribe. Do all of those formalities. This is Soham Sara signing off.